The weak signal propagation reporter, or WSPR, WSPR, was developed by Joe Taylor K1JT and was released in 2008. It's a mode available on the WSJT-X software. This video will introduce you to the mode at uh, high level. Uh, we'll, we'll also discuss the whisper message. Uh, we'll talk about some practical application of the technology and uh, show you how to set up your computer, radio, and we'll talk about the WSJT-X uh, software options for Whisper. This will all be a high level. The Whisper message is a very, very low rate, along the lines of 25 bits per, per minute. Um, now, the standard message is a total of 50 bits. The first 25 bits are your call sign. The next 15 bits is your maidenhead grid locator, and the final seven bits is your output power in dBm. Uh, that's decibel reference to one milliwatt. So how many milliwatts you're putting out? Uh, Whisper was designed to test propagation paths on the low frequency, medium frequency, and high frequency bands. That's LF, MF, and HF. Uh, it's also used experimentally at the VH and even higher frequencies. While uh, testing propagation is the primary application, it has been uh, used for antenna testing, uh, frequency stability and frequency accuracy checking. Uh, one interesting possible application of Whisper is uh, Richard Go Godfrey's a proposed examination of historical whisper data to further define the flight path of Malaysian Airlines flight MH370. And now he suggested that the unique whisper transmission paths that cross the area of interest around Malaysia, the Malacca Straits, and the Indian Ocean, uh, and with the whisper data being updated every two minutes, uh, then being able to check it against the satellites, which were updated every hour, maybe it might be possible to detect and track MH MH370 through two independent sources. Now, whether the uses whisper by this in this way, uh, it's just a theory, or if it actually helps to find the Boeing 777. In any case, it makes a very interesting read. So, I've added a link in the video uh, description uh, for your reading pleasure. I think you'd enjoy it. Most of the rest of this video will be a demonstration on my computer. So let's get to it. Well, here we are. Uh, I've got WSJTX uh, up here. I'm using version 2.3.1, which is the latest version. You can download it uh, easily. It's a free download uh, with open source. It's got uh, download uh, for uh, Windows, uh, everything from 7 on up, and uh, Mac OS, and uh, a variety of different uh, li Linux. Uh, Right now, I am showing you the uh, screen for FT8, but I'm going to go ahead and pop over here, go to settings. We're going to ignore, well, I'm going to pop over here to uh, general, uh, and you, you'll see this here. You make sure you got your call sign and your grid in there, uh, uh, but uh, all of this is uh, covered by multitudes of other uh other uh, videos and uh, websites. Uh, I do want to mention uh, to make sure that when you pick uh, pick your serial port and your baud rate uh, that uh, it matches what your radio is putting out and that you go ahead and go to your device manager and check things out there and make sure that the driver is the appropriate uh, have, has the appropriate settings as well. Under audio, you'll see that I am using the, for the input, the uh, US, USB audio codec, also using the USB audio codec for the speakers. Uh, if 
my my radio has a built-in uh, sound card and if you have one like that uh, one of the more modern most of the modern radios have them uh, so if you have one that is the preferred setting if you have an older radio that does not have a built-in sound card uh, please uh, I recommend strongly the uh, Tigertronics uh, signal link uh, that's uh, and I'll, I'll I'll put the words up there on the screen for you but uh, uh, there is a link in the uh, video description to them I do not get anything for this uh, I just like like the thing uh, everything else is is already uh, covered by other videos so I don't want to uh, uh, duplicate any efforts here uh, you'll note that uh, I am in FT8 uh, that was just so I could show you that in going to mo uh, if you click on the mode button come down here to whisper that's where you want to be so uh, here we are on whisper and I'm going to delete that screen there and I want to show you some stuff that uh, you have if you turn off band hopping uh, then uh, make sure that you've got your upload spots in make sure that your frequency up here the red dot is somewhere in this green area that's your receive side uh, that's where uh, whisper is going to want to report uh, you can set it out someplace else and uh, you will see there are some whispers happening out here uh, but uh, for now just use keep keep it in between the green and you'll be fine I'm set on 40 meters. My frequency is preset. Uh, I've got my radio set to 5 watts, so I use this pull down here to select 5 watts. Uh, that pull down will allow everything from 1 milliwatt up to 1 kilowatt. Um, so we'll go back to our 37 dB 5 watt. Uh, if you get confused, a, a dBm is decibels uh, reference to one milliwatt. Uh, I've got a video out there on that, and I will uh, tag that on the end screen of this video. Uh, right now, I am receiving uh, this. Uh, it takes two minutes to go through through uh, a cycle, a receive cycle or a transmit cycle. You see right here I'm on 77 seconds of 120 seconds. Uh, let's talk about band hopping. If you're uh, if you are band hopping then what you want to do is uh, set your schedule. So click on schedule it'll bring this up. Uh, the gray line is dawn or dusk. Uh, so the sunrise gray line would be dawn, and I'm I've set uh, 80 meters and 40 meters and 20 meters and 15 meters and 10 meters and even six meters to uh, uh, be active at those times. During the day, I've turned off 80 meters and uh, gone with 40, 20. Uh, you can adjust these all you want. Uh, I've pretty much repeated the sunrise gray line for the sunset gray line and at nighttime uh, I've uh, got rid of I'm not looking for 10 meters at night uh, perhaps when uh, the uh, solar conditions improve I'll change that but uh, come up here set this to uh, wherever you click it, it will uh, work for you uh, you can also adjust your gray line time. I've got it set for 60 minutes, so that's 60 minutes either side of dusk or dawn of a sunrise or sunset. And we'll close that down. And uh, right now uh, my percentage is 20%, which would be one transmit cycle out of uh, out of uh, <clears throat> excuse me one transmit cycle out of five. I'm going to change that to 25% so it's one out of four. So for every uh, eight minutes, two minutes of that will be me transmitting. Now I'm going to let this run and then I'll come back and we will uh, uh, look at the uh, 
whispernet.com and uh, it will show how things are working. Right now on 40 meters in this last last time around, I uh, I went ahead and uh, well, I received these people. Uh, the furthest distance was W6LVP and he's, uh, he's uh, uh, 3,186 kilometers away. Uh, I'm back and uh, I've let this run for right around a half hour and uh, before I uh, got off of here I wanted to show you that I did hear VK3MO which is an Australian station at uh, 15,000 miles away. Uh, as soon as this gets done I'm going to shut down uh, shut it down and uh, go out. Remember when I said make sure you upload spots? Well you're uploading spots to the whispernet.com website which is where we're going to go right now. Let me close that down and go to the whispernet There it is. Now I am uh, currently logged in and uh, these are all the stations that have been heard and have been reporting on WhisperNet and I'm going to go up here to the database. Alright, band is going to be all. Mode, we're going to leave that at all. Let's set this to, well 100 sounds good to me. Uh, and uh, I'm looking for my own call so in the last hour and uh, let's uh, go sort by distance do this and there we go now here is ZL 2000, uh, 2005SWL he heard me and uh, ZL is of course New Zealand uh, the next, and he was 13,745 kilometers away. Uh, here's uh, the next, next furthest was uh, 8,000 kilometers, and uh, then uh, about 7,500. So we're looking good, looking real good there. Uh, let me uh, let me go back and change my specs. I'm going to change this to a thousand and do the same thing. Okay, so the reason I wanted to do this was to go down to find the closest ones. There we go. Uh, here's one 58 miles away. And that was on 40 meters. So you see uh, these these people are all, all hearing me. Uh, now let's just take a quick look at the map and it'll take a second to process that. Okay, here is the map and you can see that uh, these, these are all the stations that we sing. Uh, all the stations we're seeing, uh, getting a couple coming down here to the EA portion, so probably the uh, uh, Canary Islands and uh, stuff like that but there's a lot of stuff going on and uh, that's that's uh, what I wanted to show you on here so uh, let's head back to the uh, real life video and uh, see how we're doing over there uh, for my uh, summary and uh, my goodbyes and that's Whisper I hope you've uh, learned something uh, from this video and enjoyed watching it now please take a moment and like the video by clicking on the thumbs up button. It's right down there. And it doesn't cost you anything and would make me really happy. Really, it's the feedback that I, I really enjoy. It keeps me coming back every week. So if you'd like to see more like this, please subscribe to my channel. It's right below in bold letters, bold red letters. Uh, that way you'll be able to see what's all the videos I've released so far and if you'd like to be notified when a new video is posted please click on and ring that bell. Now as always thanks for dropping by my little shack for a chat. 
7-3 Fresnel, Elmer Tom, ND3N out.